Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get custom anime posters. Because if you're anything like me, you don't have mad money to be spending on anime posters and anything like that. So this is a way that I discovered that you can get anime posters for extremely cheap, 60 cents to a dollar. And to be honest, I think that's a really good price. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So hopefully you can make your room a little more anime-esque. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is find your anime poster. And what I usually like to do is go to Shonen Jump poster art and just look through images and try to find a poster that I like. So you can go with something like this. You can go with something like this. And the higher the resolution of the photo, the better it's going to come out. But I haven't had a problem so far. And I like to print the Shonen Jump covers, like I said, because they have a lot of color, a lot of different characters. And overall, I just think they look really sick to hang up on your wall. So after you find one you like, you're going to right click and save it somewhere on your computer. So we're going to save this one. Save. So this is also another place where you can go and get posters and this is going to be in the description and this is just a Pinterest thread that I like it has a bunch of posters on and stuff that you could find old school hunter hunter Jojo's the promised neverland anything you could think of and manga covers too so Remember, this is going to be in the description, so you can go here and look for stuff, right click it and save it to your desktop. So the next step is to go to FedEx. And I don't know if this works for other places like UPS or anything like that, but FedEx has a really good printing service. You go to FedEx.com and when you go to FedEx.com, you're going to want to go to print and design all product services. You're going to scroll down until you see flyers. You're gonna click on flyers, and then from flyers, you're gonna scroll down until you see individual flyers. Use your file, wait till it loads. You're gonna select use your file, go to where you have the poster saved, and when that loads, it's gonna bring you to a page like this, and it's gonna tell you that the file quality is low. You just continue because don't worry about it. it tells me everything is low. You can put a 4K image in here sometimes and they'll tell you that it's low. So right now the price is 49 cents, but that's gonna change because this is a, a standard size. You could go for this size, which I've had something printed in the second 5.8 by 14 size and it makes it 61 cents. And for 61 cents, it's really good. It's a little larger than a standard size, but for the print quality and just the texture, I think it's actually pretty nice. But we're going to be going for the larger size. So we're going to go for the 11 by 17, which is almost a dollar. So they used to have an option where you could select recycled paper and it would make it 60 cents for the large size, which was actually really good. It felt nice. The print quality was the same as the non-recycled paper. It just had, the texture was a little bit different, but it was a better texture. So we're just going to go with this size. You could go for a heavier size, but I recommend going with this one, just the 24, which is standard. And then if you want to spend more money, you could have it like water sealed, laminated, stuff like that, but I don't find that necessary. So Remember, this is going to have a white border. So what you can do is you can just cut the white borders or you can just uh, fold them over. And I really don't think the white border is that much of a problem. So after you get everything set out on what you want, full color, black and white, whatever. And oh, another thing, if you guys decide to print manga this way and have like manga posters on your wall, you can go and change it to black and white and it makes it 34 cents. So you're getting something for 34 cents in black and white, so a manga panel or whatever you like, and it comes out extremely nice. They use really good ink for these, even though they're so cheap. So after you have it the way that you wanted, we're gonna go full color. So after you have all your settings set, you proceed to checkout, you add it to your cart, and what I recommend is actually going to go pick it up in person. You're going to want to proceed as a guest unless you make an account. 
and I recommend picking these up in person because if you don't, you have to pay for shipping and sometimes shipping could get expensive, especially with FedEx. And this helps you locate a FedEx within like five, 10 miles if there's one near you. And remember the FedEx that you send these to isn't just a drop off center. It's a FedEx print and ship center. So make sure you have one of those near you and you can go pick them up there. And usually they're ready within about an hour. So it has times that you could set to go pick them up. So set a time, but usually it they're ready within an hour. So you can go over there within an hour, even though you set an earlier time. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Now to go pick up my posters. Okay, so right now I'm on my way to go pick up the posters and they only took an hour and they're complete. So this is me at UPS picking up the stuff. It literally took me four seconds. I gave them my name. I got them. I'm out and on my way back home to go show you guys these posters, what they look like and if the print quality is good. So this is the package. This is me home. I'm about to unpackage them just to show you guys what they look like. And for 60 cents, I think they turned out pretty good. So I got a bleach one printed and this is the second smallest size i already folded the corners on it so that it takes out that white border you can see at the bottom it's kind of folded um, i'm gonna show you that right here kind of folded just a little bit and it still looks pretty clean colors are nice it has this kind of like glossy feel on it if that makes sense like it's slightly reflective if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I think that one came out pretty good. And this one is the option that they no longer have. This one was 60 cents and it was the largest size. This is recycled paper, which if was still an option, I'd be collecting a lot of these because they're only 60 cents. It's the largest size and it still feels as good, maybe sometimes even better as the actual dollar ones. It sucks that they don't have that size anymore. But you guys can see the colors pop. I think they're really good for 60 cents. You could put these around your room. And last but not least is the one piece one, which I did actually end up folding this one too, folding the borders on. And the Jujutsu Kaisen one, I actually cut those off. But again, this one, the print quality is really good. They feel good. I don't see any like, distortion in the resolution even though the website said it was going to have distortion in the resolution i didn't experience that so i think that's something that they just put on the site and it's not really a problem but if you find higher quality images i would say use those but this is all of them together this is what i got they turned out really nice i can't wait to hang these up and i'm definitely gonna get more maybe i'll make a video where i get like 50 of them or something and i do have a plan that I'm gonna do with these to decorate my room and I'll show you guys that video, but that's pretty much it. So if you guys do wanna get these posters, a lot of links are gonna be in the description for FedEx, for the Pinterest, and make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. But that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully this helps some of you out. And with all that being said, I want you guys to have a good day or night wherever you are in the world and peace.